This video will show you how to create a weapon system in Godot. So let's get into it. So just a little thing to keep in mind of. We have the weapon here, which is in this case an M4A1, inside a spatial node called usable weapons. And then we have that node inside another node called hand. And then that hand node is attached to the camera. So just keep in mind how many times it has to go up to get into the camera. So let's actually get into the script. So we have three variables up here, reserve ammo, current ammo, and mag size. I'm exporting these as integers inside the inspector so I can see them here, reserve ammo, current ammo, and mag size. And that just makes it a little bit easier to tweak values and have different types of weapons. And then I also have a two more variables, a shoot delay and reload time. Once again, they're being exported and they are floats, so you can see them over here in the inspector. The shoot delay is the delay it takes between shoot shots. Reload time is how long it takes to reload. And these two float variables down here, shoot timer time and reload timer time, are the variables that are actually going to get modified. And then we have two bulls down here is reloading, so this is a variable that gets set if we are currently reloading. And then we also have another one called ready to shoot, and then we set that to true on start and then we have three other variables these are just nodes i haven't assigned them a type yet and then we also have another variable called on ready var shoot cast we're making a recast node and just saying it equal to dollar sign shoot cast over here in our scene and then we have three functions we actually have four functions these just return a value these are functions that return a value based on just these variables here so for example we're just using reserve ammo is greater than zero so if it is greater than zero then this function will return true if it's not then it will return false and we're pretty much doing that for all these so we have can reload current ammo depleted reserve ammo depleted and no more ammo and then in our ready function we're just getting a graphical user interface. You can just ignore this if you're not going to have an ammo counter. But if you are, you can just do this. Depending on how many times you have your M4A1 nested. And then, once again, let me actually go back to the script. We can have this ammo text be assigned to GUI.getNode ammo counter. And that's just a text thing inside this graphical user interface node and then the prime can this is just your camera so you can just do get parent which will get the usable weapons then get parent which will get hand and then get parent which will get the camera and then that's your camera and then we can just say current ammo to reserve ammo and then we're saying the shoot cast dot translation is equal to the prime cam dot translation this just makes it so the ray comes out from the camera rather than wherever you put it and then we're saying our shoot timer time to our shoot delay and then we're saying our reload timer time to our reload time and you can ignore this print statement that's just something i put there to help myself and then every frame we want to set the shoot cast dot translation to the prime cam dot translation once again, for so the raycast comes out of the camera, and then we can say if it if the weapon is reloading, then we can set the ammo text to our string, and we can just say current ammo plus a slash plus str reserve ammo so string. So we just have three strings. We're adding them together, and we're saying elif is reloading is equal to true. We're saying our ammo text to a string that says reloading. And then we're calling a function called reset reload. I'll get to that later. And then we're just returning, proving the rest of the script from being called. And then we have another if statement, if current ammo depleted. So we're referencing this function up here. And can reload is equal to true. Then we just want to call a function called reload weapon. I'll once again get to that later. And then we say if input dot is action pressed, action shoot. So you want to go to your input map, project settings, input map and just have one called action shoot just ignore this ads one i haven't implemented that yet so if we press that and no more ammo is equal to false and ready to shoot is equal to true and is reloading is equal to false then we can just call this function called shoot and i will once again get to that later and then it says if we, we create another if statement called if ready to shoot is equal to false and then we can just say reset shoot I'll get to that later. So the first thing we're going to do is create this function called shoot. 
we just say ready to shoot is equal to false, current ammo minus equals 1, and then we can just say if shoe cast dot is colliding, you can put whatever logic in here you want. I just put a pass statement. And then this function called reset shoot, we can just say shoot timer time minus equals delta. So we're subtracting it every second. So you could just have this be really large and so essentially creating a timer. And then we're checking if it is less than or equal to zero. We're ready to shoot is equal to true. And then we're resetting shoot timer time. You also want to have a delta in this function just so we can actually subtract it from the timer. And then we also have this other function called reset reload. And then we have a delta in parentheses, reload timer time minus equals delta. And then we're checking if the reload timer time is less than or equal to zero. Current ammo is equal to reserve ammo. Reserve ammo minus equals max size. So our reserve ammo will run out eventually. And we can say is reloading is equal to false. And then we can just say reload timer time is equal to reload time. So we're just resetting this reload timer time. And then this function down here, reload weapon, we just set is reloading to true. And that's actually pretty much it for the weapon script. You can add whatever logic you want to to this if shoe cast is colliding. I'll make a tutorial on bullet holes in the future. I'll also probably make a few other tutorials about ADS. So for those, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, helps out the channel, helps get content like this recommended to others. That is all for me for now. Fun Huber, out.